refrigerado. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome to Starfield. This is Hill. And I am jumping on the bandwagon just like, uh, what, what is it, six million other players that uh, have been playing Starfield. I thought I would uh, try my hand at it as a uh, longtime Skyrim Bethesda content creator and enthusiast. I thought I would see uh, what Starfield has to offer. And hopefully this will be a long play that uh, we'll be doing for uh, some time now. And I hope you will stick with me throughout. So, let's begin. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, We'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. So initially, we'll probably do a little bit of, uh, well, me just talking, and okay. then some role Let's play. See what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Always, uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer ray. A job like this in the United Colony? <laughs> Reams of red tape. Ugh, we'll be this one over here. Calvert! Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. 
What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Stalactites, stalagmites. I remember that. I'm busy. In school and going into caves and stuff. See, I'm an expert. I here if you pull the left trigger. And then fire with the right, see as, as the, the reticle gets smaller, ready, it supercharges the laser. These people here are amateurs. Come on, it's time. You're with me.
Come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? <laughs> no. All right, so we need to create a character here. Let's... I don't know why they don't just start you at number one. Anyhow, let's go through here. Get all the options. What number is this? Nine. I like how you can play older characters. That's really cool. For the gaming community that is uh, aging, like myself. It's really cool. Oh, she looks nice. already uh, muscular. This thing is very sensitive. Alright, we'll do that. Um, what? How dark? Oh, okay, you can... Take anybody and make them as dark as you want.
Most of these sliders just make him look older. Is that a blind person, or is this somebody who is infused with energy? Is that number six? Let's see. See, you know, I was trying to make this guy look mean, but <laughs> he's turned out to be anything but. Anyway, uh, what else can we do here? Forehead. Maybe that. I think we'll go with that. Cheeks. So that's nice full lips there. Okay, teeth check out.
Okay, that should do. So I guess the, the neck just gives him age. Alright, we'll go with the the Adam's apple. Jewelry, look at this, nose rings. Alright, we'll go with some bling in the ears. Just leave that. Leave that alone. Complexion color, we will leave that alone. No blemishes, let's see about some scars. Good grief, you know that hurt. this increase the intensity? Yeah. Okay, these facial forms you can stack the cheek colors. No lipstick, no eyeshadow, no dirt. That looks good. Okay. I just, I don't see a way to make this guy look mean because I want to give him a soldier background. Does this look like a soldier? He probably looks more like a, a model or something with a scar. <laughs> anyway, I guess was, this is what we're working with. I tempted to take the scar off too. So what if we put a smaller one and increase the intensity? Uh, all right, I think we'll go with that one. So the eyebrows, what can we do? much I guess this is I guess as mean as we're gonna get So here's our guy, and here these are the various uh, starting skills. I'm just going to go through these. I, I already decided I'm going to play as a soldier for my first playthrough. It's uh, usually recommended when you're playing a game like this. Uh, you know, unless you're well, unless really you can play it any way you want. But I I want to uh, try the soldier. 
route because there are some pretty cool skills that you get. Like here, fitness in space, the greatest commodity is oxygen. Increased lung capacity gained by regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. And we've got the ballistic centuries of combat have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high speed projectiles. And then the boost pack training, specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. And there are other, here are the remaining backgrounds. So the soldier, the settled system is no, the settled systems is no stranger to warfare. And if there's one thing armed conflict relies on is it's trained warriors with guns and guts. You had both. Simple, bloody work, and you were great at it. So this guy is probably like a disgraced soldier. Um, something happened in his past that uh, a lot of people may have died. And now he has become a miner to uh, make ends meet. All right, and the traits. I think we're going to go ahead with this alien DNA that we volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. And I'm just going to go down through these. I think, did I want extrovert? You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. Uh, we're going to try to have companions during this. And that's the thing that I'm not clear on. Can you have more than one? I don't think so. And I also want to go with uh, the terra firma. Uh, he's never been acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decreased in space. All right, so this is our guy for now. so pronouns him he and we are going to go with Captain Hill and our robot should be able to say this name you were a good find when we hired you former military always knows how to get the job done well you got the sample Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? <laughs> I saw... I don't know what I saw. It was incredible. Like a dream. Or a vision. Easy there, High Flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. What the? This guy, this doesn't look like the guy I just made, but whatever. It's like, Our constellation those big is eyes. On Wait. Can, can you, you make mean looking people in this game? I thought they were kind of a joke. 
Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists. I'm just seeing if there's anything here I can collect. Med kits. Whoa. You don't look good. Really? Oh, what's wrong with the way I look? You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Hmm. All right, here I come. Uh-oh, something's wrong with his neck. There, there he turned. Keeps turning. He's got a broken neck. Alright, All right, here we go. Airlock, put your helmet on. This is inventory uh, down here. So this is the suit. Where's the helmet? Oh, the helmet category. Okay, helmets. again. This has to be a glitch. Hopefully the next time I reload the game that'll fix it. mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost him. Barrett?
rock. This is one of the things that I don't like about the game, and I'm not going to harp on all sorts of stuff, but how the little uh, menu here does not give you any details as to what these things are. Now, I have been looking on YouTube, and apparently uh, the modding community has already addressed these issues, but it's really too bad that, you know, we couldn't know what a rip shank is or, you know, what some of these things are that you are going to encounter as you play the game. Oh, we had a med pack, nice. Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. on the pressure. Thank you. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Whoa, wait. I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, um... I wasn't gonna bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. Hmm. You're on to bigger things. Really? But what about the mine? Don't you need me? Now that we've been attacked? Oh. We've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. No way. Not my job. Don't you get it? You don't have a job here anymore. You're with those explorers now. Like it or not. Just go, all right? Figure out what happened to you when you touched that rock. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco! Get him to the lodge! No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Whatever this is. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? You're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. But why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, 
Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Just who are you? What is Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. This is goodbye. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Captain Hill, Protocol Indigo is in effect. All right, Bosco. You know, I'm not that much of a pilot. I hope you're going to be able to help me. Mm -hmm. 